save completed. I should probably be making save states. Because I I don't want to risk it not working. So uh, let me just figure out how to do this. Uh, chapter 2, the new guild recruits. Config. Where do I find uh, saves? Okay, save state as. Oh, wait, no. Wait, there was a button for this, right? Hang on. Save state. Oh, shift F1 apparently is what I should do. Alright, there we go, problem solved. I'll just keep doing that from now on. This is Wiggly Tufts Guild. To form an exploration team, you need to register a team here. Then you have to train until you become a first-rate exploration team. Yikes. It's a little bit odd. It just is. I don't know. What tipped you off? The frigging Wiggly Tuff Head TP. The giant barbecues that are always lit. The flowers on the side that are waving in constantly back and forth directions despite there being no wind. The freaking poles with Hoot Hoot and Apom heads. Or the manhole cover in front of a steel jail cell gate. It was the flowers for me, but... Oh, shipping. Also, even if your characters are the same, even if they're the same gender, that stuff still happens. So there is still shipping. Yay! Pokemon detected. Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Volpix's. The footprint is Volpix's. You may enter. Someone's with you. So get that stranger to stand up there. Wait, how do you know who's? Okay, I don't know how you knew that, but. Uh, there's a grate covering the hole. It's made so that no one can fall through, unless they're really tiny. So it's really strange. It looks like it'll tickle my feet, or... Hey, yo! Stranger! Get on the grate! Well, that's just great. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is... The footprint is... Um... What's the matter? Sentry! Sentry! What's wrong, Sentry Diglett? Um... Er... Um, the footprint is... Maybe Ryalu's. Maybe Ryalu's. What? Maybe. But, but, it's not a footprint that you normally see around here. Ah, uh, that's pretty crummy. Checking the footprints of visiting Pokemon. That's your job, isn't it, Diglett? Yes, but I don't know what I don't know. What? Are they arguing? <laughs> yes, they are. Sorry to make you wait. Well, it's true that you don't see any riot loot in these parts, but you don't seem to be bad. Okay, good enough. Enter. The funny thing is, if you even if you end up being a Pokemon like a Shinx or anything else like that, I, which I'm pretty sure you may you're able to find in the wild, um, they'll still say you don't see many of you in these parts. So, yeah, let's just go in. We're totally not going to be locked in here. Why does a TP have a freaking iron gate? I mean, I guess for security purposes and stuff, but, you know, someone could easily just walk up to the side and just kind of cut a hole into the tent. Whatever. Actually, leads underground. Let's just go right down it. And here we are. Why do I have my arms out as I'm running, as I'm walking? So this is Wigglytuff's Guild. I'm sure a lot of Pokemon here. Uh... Oh, Chatot. You will grow to hate Chatot, folks. What's your that just came in, right? Yeah, ta da ta da That's right. <laughs> to do. So basically, basically, Chatot is, just, is surprised for some reason that, hmm, this is a guild for exploration teams. So why does someone come here wanting to form an exploration team? I don't get it. Sure it is. We did. I love how... I don't understand... Eh, whatever. Guild second underground floor. Do -do -do. So we're going to head into this...
you know, I, she just asked, she just noticed something odd. You didn't have to get pissy with her. <laughs> you should never be discourteous to a guildmaster. Oi, guildmaster, I'm coming in. Get a master. Um, get a master. Hiya! So you will grow to love Wigglytuff. Uh, you don't have a TV. What would be a good team name? Pokey Pals. No. Delete. 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 Get that crap out of here. Team name. So. <laughs> team. Failed level. I don't think I'll have enough room for level, so level one. Team failed level one. <laughs> Team failed level one. And you know what? I'm going with it. Team fail. No, no, don't hit. Don't hit delete. Level one. We're going with it. Failed level one. I so want to go with that. You know what? I am... I'm going with it. Screw it. Failed level one? Team failed level one. <laughs> I like it. It's a good name. It's perfect for us. <laughs> it totally is, too. I'll settle then. I'll register you as... Your team has failed level one. I'll register. Yumta! Congratulations. From now on, you're an official exploration team. I present you with this in commemoration. Open it up. Oh, you opened it up. Totally not me. Explorer badge inside, and a wonder map, and a treasure bag. So, at the moment, we have a defense scarf, sky blue bow, and I don't know what those do. Yay! Fist pump! Nobody seems to care. This is your room. We get beds! <laughs> Those are not bed. I, oh, you know what, actually, for Pokemon, I guess they are. That makes sense. The moon! He failed level one. You still awake? Who am I? How did I turn to a Pokemon? How did I end up unconscious on that beach? I'm feeling sleepy too! Well, thinking about it won't help right now! I better focus on the guesswork for now! <laughs> that is a dumb way to sleep, just rah, 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 rah. Like to save your adventure? Yes. Shift F1. So whenever I get a save option, I'll hit the save state thing. You know what? That's how I prevent my, myself from using the save states to cheat. I will whenever I will only use a save state when I hit the option to save in the actual game. Do do do. But only if I'm in a dungeon. If I'm outside, I'll do it whenever the hell I want. Rise and shine. My head is pounding. Why are you still asleep? Wake up! Come on, snap out of it! I'm Plowdred, and I'm a fellow apprentice. If you're late for our morning briefing, you'll be sorry, so move it! Gilmaster Wigglytuff has got a big temper if you make him lose it. Yowie, there'll be one very scary scene. I've got goosebumps just thinking about it. Eesh! So anyway, I'm not about to get in trouble because your rookie's got a plate. So get it in here! I have no clue what his voice became there. <laughs> I kind of want to just, whenever Loudred starts screaming, actually scream, but I swear that's going to get my dogs going, so no. 
Something about getting ready? <laughs> we overslept! You're late, rookies! Hush! <laughs> so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then plus us, 9, 10. We have 10 people to A one, a two, a one, two, three. One, don't shirk work. Two, run away and pay. Three, smiles go for miles. Hooray! Trust me, folks, you will get very tired of seeing smiles go for miles show up on screen. You will get tired of it. I wasn't wandering around, I was actually about to go talk to you, but okay. That was the first time I got to actually move outside of a dungeon, and it got wasted. You're just beginners. Yeah, we're team failed level one. <laughs> this is Simon. Because the flow of time is what? Whoa! <laughs> sorry. Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. That just kind of sprung at me out of nowhere the first time I played this game. It's like, you know the bag Pokemon are popping up more and more. Yeah, 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 because the flow of time is getting messed. What? It's right, Ricky Havoc. No shit, it's Ricky Havoc. <laughs> the flow of time is getting messed up, and all you care about is that it's causing more bad Pokemon to appear. How is that? The flow, yeah, my thoughts exactly. Time as an hour's a... <laughs> no, it... It's a lot more like a ball, you see. <laughs> How does that mean? Oh, whatever. In general, I don't know if this is because of time's influence. There's also been a mass outbreak of mystery dungeons. Mystery dungeons. Do to do. Changes each time. Do to do. And also very dangerous. So, what to do? This will do. Let's read it. Hello, my name is Spoink. An outlaw is brought off with my most prized possession, my precious pearl. That pearl is life itself, to me. I just can't even seem to settle down if that pearl is in its proper place atop my head. But I've heard my pearl has been sighted. It's said to be on a rocky bluff. This bluff is reported to be extremely unsafe. I could never go somewhere so frightening. Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening. Oh, friendly readers, would you be so kind as to go to the bluff and get my pearl? I beg your help, exploration team members from Spoink. So basically, look, folks, you never... Oh, wow, we're already here. When do I get... Uh... Okay, so basically, we're already going back into another dungeon. So now we are in Drenched Bluff, B7 floor. So, shouldn't be... Hold white I am each. You can also keep 69... To do. Alright, let me check my menu then, because I have the... Uh... Info. It slightly boosts the Pokemon's attack, special attack, defense, and special defense. So it's just a, it's a stat booster, and this, and this one just boosts the defense more. So because obviously Anya has a hard, uh, and I will. Okay, so I will give the defense scarf to her because apparently her AI tends to make her do stupid things, and I will give that to myself. And hi there. I'm gonna... I'm gonna headbutt you. I'm gonna headbutt this rock type. How, why does he keep saying that thing about set moves? Okay, I'm gonna pick this up. Heal Seed. 
So it's basically a it's basically a wonder tile in a sense. You know, what? I'm gonna take you down too. Screw it. Oh, if I let me check. Oh, double clicking makes me use a set move. Now I know how to do it. So moves. I think I'm gonna have a. I think I'm gonna have bite be my set. I probably won't always use it though, because it does have uh, the PP. There is still the PP stuff in this game, so. And other things like that. Oh, hey! I'm gonna grab this berry. And hi there. Ow! Touche, sir. Or ma'am. I don't actually. Oh! Yep, sir. Oh, and, and Anorith. No. Out. Trust me, fight all the wild Pokemon you see as you're going through as you're going through these things. Don't Oh wait, oh I completely forgot about this one. There is a belly option too. Where uh or not option, where basically if it if your bell your belly is like if it gets too low, I it either makes you faint immediately or starts whittling away your health. Yep, level up already. Roar! I could use a level up myself. Get out of here. Oh, hey, asking you shall receive. It level up does not heal you, apparently. I just discovered this. I did not notice that earlier. Okay. To be fair, that's like in the other games, I guess. I keep on using bite because I keep on double clicking without thinking about it. There we go. Uh, it worked that time. Oh, hi. And bye. And take that orange berry. Do that. It'll. I think it'll like tell you if your belly starts getting low. Things like apples and gummies will fill it up, but they won't restore health. So I think berries also fill up bel uh, your belly, but only like a little bit, because you know you are eating. It makes sense and to for that to fill up. Okay, so stairs are going to be in this last room. Yep. Let me. Uh, let's leave. Proceed. We're on the third floor now. We're based with the. Basement third floor. You're down and Geo Pebble. So basically that stuff that's like that's just allows you to throw something as an attack. That's basically how it works. Oh boy, this is gonna be great. I'll take you out and you Next, dark type, good against psychic. Apple, big apple. I believe, I, judging by the fact they keep saying faint from hunger, I am assuming that uh, it just yeah, that it will just make you faint if your hunger gets too low. Also, uh, something I did not notice: I believe every time you move or every time you take a step, it restores one health. So that's why my HP is back up to maximum. Oh. Using those moves will increase experience more. They're, they're, I have not played these Explorers games in a long time, so I forget some things. So if I do that, get more experience. And I think we share experience perfectly, so I don't need I need to have Anya do some attacking in order to uh, get her some experience too, which is good. Oh, there's another Lily. Lily, come here. Just want to kick your ass. Come here, Lily. Lily is running away. All right, let's head over here. I really wish I could remember how to dash. I'll probably look at the controls after this recording. Max Elixir. And that, all right, yeah, that's basically, yeah, I believe that just restores all the PP for all moves, so. So Max Elixir, very valuable. Hold on to those. And great, of course, the, uh, oh. Whoa. Fair enough. Uh. Anya, help. God damn it. There we go, you're out. Wow, good job. Okay, so of course the uh, staircase is in the 
one room I did not go into in this huge mate. Okay, no, apparently not. Also, it is not, it turns out it is not every move. It's every, every few steps, not every step. Alright. Proceed. Uh, fifth floor. Only a couple left to go. Just run away when that happens. Basically, that just means turn around and start walking. There is no actual run away option. I need to figure this out right now. It's way too annoying. Let me check. Config. Control config. Uh, what is the B button? B button. Okay. B button is Z. So if I do this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Well, not that thing, but. I mean, being able to do this. That is so much better. But you, like, speed through these things to an extent. Kind of useless in rooms, though. It's only good when you're going down these corridors. Ah. Stairs. Let's get out of here. Sixth floor, and... Tweaking its IQ skills and... How do I... Okay, team... Check IQ. Uh... Info. Item master. It will use or throw its held item. Course checker. Info. Targets an enemy with a move for thrown item. It will first check for walls. Okay, so basically it'll prevent it from... Alright. You use this only move... It... Nah. So hang on, hang on. So uh, this Pokemon uses only moves, not its regular attack. It won't use moves that are RPB move or moves with a link that will delink if used one more time. I... Get rid of that. Because I want it to use its regular attack, her to use her regular attack sometimes. Actually, I think that would be fine to keep... I'll turn it back on later if I decide to, but... I think I'm good. Alright. Oh, hey, enemy. Yeah, no, bye. Alright, level up again. There is no speed stat in these games, by the way. Whoop, no. There we go. Okay, gotta fight another one of you. And now I've leveled up. Now we can get out of here, I think. I This should be the... Should be it? Uh, yep. Uh, music went out, so this is it. Take it back. That was easy. How did I have less trouble with that than the beach caves or whatever? Must be propped on my head, you see. I missed it so much. I just couldn't settle down without it up there. So I was just boinging and springing everywhere. That's why I'm covered in dings and bumps. <laughs> I'm covered in dings and bumps too. How long am I over? Yeah, my sincere thanks. A protein. And a calcium. And an iron. And 2,000 Bokey Dollars! And... Okay, bye. And now, guys, you will hate Chatot right now. Hold on, team. Now hand that money over, if you please. Two hundred. You get ten percent... Uh Yeah, you get 10% of the job payments. You get 10% of it. Yeah, that's bull. I never did like that. Finish making dinner. Yeah, <laughs> just like, dinner's ready. Let's all cheer. And three conspicuously bare plates. I love how what we're, we're, it looks like we're eating crystals.
I swear that, it just looks like that. Off to sleep. Alright. Chapter 3. The Scream. The next morning. Up and Adam, it's morning! Alright, uh, save and continue. And save to one slot. And, hey, guys, we can actually finally move around on our own outside of... No. Outside of the... Outside of dungeons. This is what it's like, basically. Unlike in the dungeons, where it's, like, st very strictly, like... It's, like, one space. You can move almost freely here. It's not, like, single space, like, in regular Pokemon games. So, you notice that it's, like, a... You and your partner can switch spots easily. You can walk around a lot freer. More freely. It's not turn-based, either. So, it's not like in the dungeons. Where it's and three... Great, smiles go for miles. Oh, I, I could just probably do... Right, X! Because X is like the A button. I could, I could just be doing this the whole time. Still. Uh, no, actually. I was heading to the board, but... Different one on the other side. A closer look. Closer to be the show a variety of Pokemon. They all look sort of cool. Are they famous explorers? Who are these Pokemon chat hot? Pokemon posted here are outlaws. They're all shady characters, and they're wanted for committing crimes. Can I just point out that the term there's be there being a bounty on their head? That literally means that you are getting paid to cut their head off and bring it back. That's where the term originates from. I know that's not how they mean it here, but you know, good job, Nintendo. Or I mean, evil to naughty and everything in between. Bidoof! Bidoof! Yup, yup! Yup, yup! I swear, I always imagine him speaking with like a nerdy voice. Yes, sirree! By golly, I'll do just that! Yup, yup! Is it bad that my nerdy voice sounds almost nothing different from my regular voice? Alright, so... Is probably. Alright, so we're gonna now follow Bidoof, or Bidoof. Actually, wait, no, I just literally pronounce it the same way. Bidoof and Bidoof. It just depends on what I put in on TV. I'll just say Bidoof, whatever. Bidoof is gonna show us off, uh, Crow Gunk. It's just... That will become important, well, not really, it will not become really important, but uh, a facility that he runs will open up later on. That's the mess hall. That's where the crew rooms are, we just came from there. Guild master's chamber. This is outside the guild now. Love how we just literally run up the ladder. I mean, I know, limited animation and all that, but still. I like this music. Record of your adventure at the watering hole. Okay, so basically the watering hole is just another way to save. That's basically all it means. Music slowed down there, that was weird. Probably because of the freaking this being an emulator and all that. Let's go for the local ball, and it's called Treasure Town. Duskull Bank, save our money there. So basically, we can put our money there so that we don't uh, lose it. Uh, if we die in a dungeon. 
you can link moves with the Electrifier link, uh, link Shop, but if Electrifier is not there at the moment, if you link a move, basically what that means is if you use that one of the moves, then you will then use the second move, but you cannot use them separately. Calculate on market, you can buy, that's basically to buy and sell items. Kang's Gun Storage, it's basically the same as the bank, but for items. Alright, so, f first things first, though. Oh, yes, you can also run when you're outside of town, which is good. First, we're gonna head to the bank, I think. Um, we've got 364, right? Oh, no, I... No, I... No, I... I just put all my money in there. No, I want to take that back. I was going to say... I would, I'll come back there after shopping. That is still weird. The on shop. Bye. You can use it. <laughs> All right. So we're, we can. Royal gummy raises IQ. Uh, fills the belly somewhat. I can, I can hold two more items. All right. Gonna. I just bought more geo pebbles and I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna sell stuff. I'm gonna go back to using my mouse for a bit. Uh, your status problems. I'll sell that. I think. Wait. Uh, whatever. And I love how my geo pebbles. I can sell them for only two. I have all this stuff here, which I am going to sell it. Just yes, because I don't care for it. And then I have a petra berry to hold on to, along with the elixir and other berries. I will. All right. Sell them. Over a thousand Pokemonies. Anything else? Hey, can I buy anything now? Uh, anything else I can buy? Nah, nothing else really worth buying. Go. Now I'll go to the. Okay, nope. I was going to. Uh, talk to you. And now we got Meryl and Azuril. So they buy an apple. Okay, why did we have to see that? So we get a the obligatory heart orbing scene. And I don't know how that bounced all the way over to me, but whatever. And now... Not freaky at all. We're shout for help. Alright, so away they go. So they apparently lost an item. And they don't just post a thing on the ex exploration team thing for whatever reason. Alright, now I can shop from this guy. Alright, so orbs are basically, they're kind of like things you can use for different things. For example, the all hit orb boosts critical hit ratios. Escape orb takes you out of the dungeon immediately. And then the sunny orbs just make the weather sunny. I'm gonna buy one of those actually. Be actually, I could buy two of them. Mm. I don't know if I'll only buy one. And should I buy an escape orb? I don't think it'd be worth to buy buying an escape orb because, or maybe it would be. 
Because the thing is, all that would do is just take you out, so it would be the same as dying, but you don't lose stuff. So, nah, I'll just buy Sunny Orb. Alright, <sighs> nah. right, so, now, time to, alright, let's head off then. Oh, wait, no. Should I store any items first? Let's see. Uh, nah, I think I can hold on to everything here. Everything here I'm going to need, pretty sure, so. Alright. Gonna head to back here. There we go. Oh. We have two. Please, it's nothing. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice, folks? Pokemon that's been completely made mimetic for being for kidnapping children. It's helping two kids find a lost item. Isn't that isn't that totally nice and not all suspicious? Suspicious music. I want I want to tell you something. And now we're in front of the bank. It's not like I don't trust you, but I don't trust you. <laughs> This is not bad at all, right folks? I'm just gonna, real quickly, store all my money here in case I die, because we are about to go end up in a, uh... We are about to end up going places, folks, so... Let's... Get out of here. And... Alright, and, uh, before we continue, I'm going to actually save here. I think. Save and continue. Save to one slot. Save complete. Alright, 